The Doppler effect is a phenomenon in physics that has to do with how frequencies of waves change when the object emitting that wave is subject to velocity or the person observing that object is subject to velocity. So here is the equation you would use when calculating said frequencies, but let's just look at the Doppler effect um, from a conceptual point of view. Um, you probably understand this concept intuitively best from your experience either actually being at a race car ra race or seeing it on TV. And you know that a car um, just at rest on the ground um, if emitting a sound it would come out at equal frequencies no matter where you're standing relative to the car. Uh, what it actually is, it's producing little sound waves that travel, that propagate away from the source. And because the medium is exactly the same all around the car, um, it's going to travel at an equal frequency um, because it's reaching you with no change to the wave itself. Um, well, let's say now that the car is moving really quickly by, let's say, a, 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 a stand of people watching a race, and obviously the car has to go very fast then because it's racing. And what happens then? Well, the car is moving at a very high velocity in one direction. Um, so you would think that it's going to affect um, the speed or, the, or how these waves propagate out of the race car because they propagate not just forward but backwards as well. So what's actually happening is these sound waves are coming out at the same speed from the car uh, regardless of the car's velocity. But because the car now has a velocity in one direction, then it's almost racing against its own sound waves. So it emits a sound wave out here, but then instantly, because it's catching up to those sound waves, the same sound waves emitting out of that car are getting closer and closer to each other. Whereas in the back, it's racing ahead of each sound wave it makes, so the wavelengths of these um, waves are farther apart. So what does this translate into what you're actually hearing? Well, a basic idea of sound is that the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. So which is why um, when you're at a racetrack and the race car is coming by, it sounds like its pitch is slowly increasing, um, which is these waves getting closer and closer together and having a higher pitch. Um, and then the second it passes you, then this pitch instantly drops. So you'll hear something like so these guys, because the car is still in front of them, hear a high pitch. And these guys, once the car has passed, hear a low pitch. <laughs>